Taylor Faye, oh, brilliant! Walters going for it! What a magnificent goal! Sheringham, Beckham, first blood to Manchester United! Chances number 10 is pretty special. Aiden Azar finds Cesc Fabregas. Back to Azar. Took it away from Costa. It's Matic with the ball driver! Matic takes the net off! That is some strike from the Serbian! It's good interplay here from Fabregas and Hazard. And as he rolls it, it's inviting. Go on, hit it. Oh, that is magnificent. It's an unbelievable strike. Probably a match-winning strike in this FA Cup semi-final. That's a goal that Nemanja Matic would have dreamed of. Brilliant the away by Hoots. This is Walters. Davis trying to stay with him. Walters going for it! What a magnificent goal! John Walters, against his former club, has fired Stoke City into their first ever FA Cup final. It does well, Walters sets off, wants to kill a bit of time for his club, wants to make his teammates get up the pitch. Only got one thing on his mind, and another shot buries itself in the side netting. Yaskalina, no chance of game, good strength, good power, never even looks up, and that is how you finish. Giggs. Great run here by Ryan Giggs. Oh, what a goal! Would you believe it? Ryan Giggs could have taken Manchester United to Wembley. Arsenal will have plenty to say about this. What a run by Giggs. It's one of the goals of his career. He's scored 76 goals now for Manchester United. But I wonder how important this one will prove to be in the final reckoning. Like a knife through butter. He's got a fairly long throw, Holly Bass. But it comes into that category fairly long. Maybe the needs will get extra strength into those biceps. Certainly, Dini. He's getting it, De La Feu. Oh, brilliant! That's the inspiration that they needed. And Watford aren't out of it yet. He's got a lot of time on the ball here. He has a little lock, they don't get tight enough, and he just bends it round the first player, then dunk up and into that far corner. Deliberate, deft, delightful. De La Feu. Gear. And as far as Beckham, it's Manchester United's turn to attack. Sheringham. Beckham! First blood to Manchester United! David Beckham breaks the deadlock after 16 minutes. David Beckham, who scored an FA Cup semi-final winner here against Chelsea in 96, could well have scored a goal which signals Manchester United's progress to Wembley. Well, Sanchez, Arsenal in front. Yeah, it's all about Ozil, they look at the space he creates for himself. Just a beautifully weighted ball, he knows he's going to get movement ahead of it. Sanchez happy to create the space, cuts inside. Nothing can be done this time. experience of big games in the Chelsea ranks. Drogba. Oh, magnificent! Wembley is his ground again. The glory here is Didier Drogba's. And of all his Wembley goals, that's by far the best. We are seeing Chelsea present, beating Chelsea past here. Galas and Kudicini. An astonishing FA Cup semi-final goal. Astonishing in all but one respect. No surprise that it's Didier Drogba on this ground. He was made to play here. Matt
has gone forward with Stewart to the right, Lineker and Howes to the left. Is Gascoigne going to have a crack? He is, you know. Oh, played in that famous victory for Wimbledon in the FA Cup final nine years ago. Di Matteo. Zola, brilliant skill by Zola! What a magnificent goal! If that's the goal that takes Chelsea to Wembley, it's worthy of the importance. Brilliant skill by the little Italian. Pulls it down. Giroud sidesteps two and pokes it in. What a start to the second half for Chelsea. And that was a really well taken goal. Here's the touch that takes it beyond the defender. Could hit it with his left foot, realised it was going to get blocked. Jinx past a couple more. And even then, there was somebody getting back to the line. And as he's falling over, just plays it with the outside of his right. Brilliant. Boston. Game fascinatingly poised now. Myler through to Tom Huddleston! Brilliantly taken! Hull City in front for the first time! That's a great touch to take it away from the midfield challenge. Doyle can't get back at him. And he's got the composure and the awareness to bend it round Howard. Too willing to have the ball at his foot, and he'll take it on into that corner and trick his way inside. And here's the ball laid across. Ramanelli will give, give chase. He's still hungry for goals. Janino calling for it. Still, it's Ravanelli. Now it's Emerson, and that is 3 0. And book your seats for Wembley and Middlesbrough against Chelsea. And what a lovely goal with which to seal your place in the FA Cup final for the first time in a club's history. Ravanelli's pass, Emerson's finish, and the right boot did the trick. Middlesbrough are going to Wembley to the FA Cup final. That's his way to the edge of the area, moving up and down, and uh, he's followed by Dean everywhere he goes. Viv Anderson's come up on the near side as we look. Chris Waddle, is he going to have a crack? Oh, he does, he's good! Anything Paul Gascoigne can do, Chris Waddle can do. It's happened again in a Wembley semi-final. Clean strike, curling away from the goalkeeper. Sheffield Wednesday had the lead, and we've barely played a minute and a half. Lampard shot. Oh, my goodness! Talk about icing the cake. Produces an extraordinary free kick. This ball moves an awful lot. Could have changed. He shouldn't be getting beat from here when he starts that side of the goal. It'll come off Scott Parker on the end of the wall. <laughs> Certainly played tricks on Carlo Cudicini. And Frank Lampard, the nephew of the Spurs manager. As I said, family ties forgotten out on the Wembley pitch. Oh, Luis Garcia breaking now. Another chance, and this time he has taken it. Third time lucky or what? It's a beauty. And now Liverpool do lead 2 0. Luis Garcia. The man whose contentious goal guided Liverpool through to the Champions League final has dealt another chilling blow to Chelsea hopes. This time in the FA Cup semi final. Great finish, too.